Yeah, so we continue with part two. Visitors are gone. Um, yeah, there's a buff with a woolen hat and um, and gloves. Um, only use the woolen hat once. Or twice. And this is actually all my clothes, like a long trousers and a nice shirt and some spare socks and underpants and woolly shirts and things. Nothing special really. And now, oh, now comes something really special, really special that I, I got new. Um, and that, that's, I want to explain this. Uh, these shoes are called Vivo Barefoot Tracker to something. Um, ever since I've been barefoot walking and ever since I knew about this shoe to exist, I was trying to find it second hand and I'd never found it second hand um, anywhere. Simp well, I, I try not to buy new stuff. So, and then um, I didn't find it in my size. Also, Vivo didn't make it in my size. Um, and now there was this barefoot shop where I, in, in, in the Netherlands, where I just walked in to have a look around what kind of things are sold as barefoot shoes to get an idea, maybe some inspiration for some DIY project. Um, anyhow, what I found was like these shoes that have been repaired. You see, there's some, uh, like this has been changed and this has been changed. So there was some, something not ideally made with these shoes. And then the, um, they were on, on a heavy discount because of this. And they are in size 48, which is like, uh, what I need in winter with many socks in it. Uh, inside these shoes. There is some other goodies. Yeah, these are packed in socks altogether. Four bottles of um, some liquor that my mother made. So there is a um, like a blackthorn berry or a slow berry liquor and uh, a spruce tip uh, liquor like pine needle liquor so yeah um those i carried also and yeah obviously i would carry these shoes with me uh, i had one pair of shoes uh with me and that was more than enough um what else do we have uh a pair of socks from my father that he doesn't use anymore um this is the sleeping bag that uh he didn't need to use much it's um Dutch army uh, sleeping system, the summer bag. Uh, something I really like to carry just for the occasional wildlife observation opportunities is this kind of scarf. Maybe I could make a separate video out of it. It's like a little, little ghillie kind of suit. Uh, it has some uh, possibilities to attach greenery on it and I designed it so I can wear it um over my back and over my head so and it, you can attach a lot of like uh vegetation to it and what you find so i really like to carry this it's also a bit of a multi-purpose item um what else do we have yeah some kind of um not long underpants but these kind of running pants um i took for some extra warmth and this is something new um, a 20 meter rope um, found in the military shop a rope that I really know well uh, I know that it's like a dynamic half rope um, made by Edelried used by the Dutch army um, it's very unused like no 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 uh, signs of wear or tear uh, and I know that age in itself is not a reason for for rope quality to degrade so this looks like um you know it has the military um surplus smell to it um, and that's the empty liner bag so backpack is empty um yeah that was the unpacking video so um as i said there's a lot of stuff in here that i did carry and didn't use and still I would carry it again with me. Um, certainly more than enough. Um, 
<laughs> more than needed and I could go a lot lighter um, if I would just only for example take a, a rain poncho, um, poncho liner, small small keeled, um, like everything would, could be a lot more compact um, and would still have the freedom of sleeping wherever needed or wanted. Um, so this trip was a bit of a exception like first of all it was really long and with the current geopolitical uh, situation i don't trust that i can know where things develop like the scenarios um for i don't know catastrophes they have become so complex so hard to predict that i find it really it gives me a great deal of like peace of mind to to know that i have everything with me um, so that my son and me can be outside and protected uh, and, and go even hiding um, and have a tent with us or a shelter and uh, take care of our food and take care of our water um, and, and can do some fishing and so on. So that, that really um, was nice. Um, yeah, obviously the weight, you know, carrying over 20 kilos uh, doesn't feel like necessary most of the time um especially in retrospect now that you know we are back here safe we didn't need any of the first aid stuff so yeah all quite okay i think so and there was a lot of space still in the backpack so one side pouch was totally empty uh, and i still had the wheels attached to the backpack that i could use to pull the backpack um yeah so altogether i think the um the packing was was quite good i don't regret really anything um or do i no yes okay that was the uh, unpacking of this interrail trip and this whole interrail trip i mean that that's like i think there is another video that can be made about that hmm. there's a lot to learn there interesting perspectives we picked up on the way have a good time and uh yeah, looking forward to read your comments and hear your thoughts. And let me know if you want some videos about something. Hey, though.